In general terms, the implant can go under your gland or under your muscle. The muscle we're talking about is your pec major mm -hmm. muscle. In your situation, it's going to go under the muscle mm -hmm. because you don't have enough tissue, enough fat to conceal the implant. For women that do and they have enough tissue there, then we can place the implant under the gland. Mm -hmm. it yields a really nice result. It's okay. an easier recovery because under the muscle, you have a lot of pressure. Perfect. You know, that's just the way it has to be <laughs> yeah. because you just of the tissue. Yeah. There is a slightly lower risk of developing developing a capsule contracture if we place the implant under the muscle. Okay. Versus so, the gland. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll take it. That's a trade off. Yeah. Right. Either way you can breastfeed. Your your breast is a gland. It responds to hormones. When you get pregnant and when you deliver there are certain mm -hmm. hormones that change, cause your gland to engorge, produce milk, mm -hmm. and that's not affected by an implant. Your breast what has no this, idea. What about the natural growth with pregnancy? Would that disrupt the shape and size because the implant's there? No, it doesn't really change things. You can still get a mammogram mm -hmm. when you have an implant. Okay. There is a higher likelihood that you would need more views. So mm -hmm. traditionally, you're too young to get a mammogram, but in the traditional sense, you know, when they do a mammogram, they can do up and down and front to back. But with patients with implant, they can be more likely to need other views. Angles, okay. Just to be able to kind of look around the implant.